Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Today is actually kind of a fun video in my opinion because I was literally standing upstairs in my bathroom. I am about to go on vacation and I don't wanna bring too much makeup or if I do bring makeup, I wanna keep it separate from my skincare when I pack. And you know what? I feel like I'm an all or nothing type person when it comes to makeup. I either just leave my skin completely bare and I just stop at my skincare and my sunscreen or I go into makeup. But recently it's kind of been trendy and also there's a lot more products out there that kind of are a hybrid in between your skincare and makeup. Like I said, I normally like wouldn't do these types of things, but maybe it's because I'm a new mom and I feel like sometimes I don't have time to come down here into my beauty room and do a full glam, but I want something, like I want a little bit of coverage and I want like a little boost, but I don't want it to look like makeup and I want it to piggyback off of my skincare routine really nicely. So I have this vision in my mind of a routine that could potentially be that for me, but I've just never done it before. So I have the products that I feel like would work really well for what I have in my head. And I thought I would sit down and film it just in case, you know, let's see if this works. And I know there's a lot of people that kind of do have or do prefer to do a routine like that, where it's kind of just like a little extra something on top of skincare, but not quite a makeup look. So that's what we're doing today. I'm actually gonna start off with some skincare so we can really just go straight from skincare into skincare feeling makeup. So I'm gonna start with the Osea Atmosphere Protection Cream. I mentioned this in my favorites video. It's so incredible, I've loved it. And I especially love it to prep my skin for products because it just sinks into the skin so beautifully and it doesn't leave like a super dewy or glowy finish, which I think is actually key for layering products and for making it look as natural as possible. I don't want it to be overly glowy. Um, so this kind of leaves actually more of like a satiny, almost matte if that's possible for a moisturizer to have a matte finish. Um, but that's kind of what it does. And you can see, I mentioned this in my favorites video, but I haven't been able to like show you how it kind of leaves this grip, which is so nice, I feel, for underneath makeup. I really do love to prep the skin for makeup with this, but I felt like it would be a good way to create like the hybrid look that I have in my mind. So now we're gonna go into sunscreen and this is an amazing sunscreen that works so well underneath makeup products. Like I said, we're not doing a full on makeup look, but I really do feel in order to make that routine that I have in my head of just like a skincare meets makeup type of a situation, I want products to really work well together and these are products that do, like they work well underneath makeup-y products. So I'm just letting that sink in as well. It sinks into the skin so beautifully. I'm obsessed with that stuff. And again, this doesn't have like a super dewy finish. I have been really into the Kosas um, sunscreen as well, but that one does have a little bit more of an obvious glow. So I'm trying to keep it a little bit more like subdued as much as possible. I will have a little bit of glow at the end, but as far as the base products go, I want it to be a little bit more simple. So I'm just gonna let that sink in for a little while. And then I'm going to, as that's sinking in, I'll tell you what I'm gonna use. I wanted to revisit the Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint because I feel like it's very light coverage, so I haven't been using it for makeup routines, but I feel like this could be a really great product to keep in my bathroom with my skincare and kind of even mix into moisturizers if I want to or use on its own um, to kind of just even out my skin tone without it feeling like makeup. So I'm shaking it because that's what it says. I use the shade one and I'm just gonna do a little bit on my fingertips. We can always build up more, but I'm gonna start with this. And for me, my most like splotchy area is my cheeks. So I'm gonna focus the product there and then kind of drag it inward and then upward on the forehead. And I'm hoping that this will just kind of even out the skin tone. And I also felt like it would work really well on top of the Summer Fridays sunscreen since it's from the same brand. I'm just pressing that into the skin. I need to look at this up close in a mirror to see. So ideally, it'd be nice if I didn't have to use too many products or tools, I mean. And this is really applying really nicely with my fingertips. I did wanna take a little bit more, we'll see how this works, and maybe use it as like a concealer situation. I don't know. Cause I don't feel like I want a full concealer, but I also have discoloration all around the eyes. So let's see if this works. I do feel like that really actually brightened up the under eyes, but it literally looks like I'm not wearing anything. Am I crazy? I mean, it's not gonna give you full coverage like a concealer would, 
but it's definitely what I would feel really confident wearing. Like I wouldn't need to add any more than this, at least for this type of a look. I've got some blemishes coming through, but honestly for this type of a look, I'm not gonna worry about that because I want it to look like I've just got bare skin basically. All right, the next product that I have in mind is actually one that I just barely tried, but it's so nice. It's the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Bronzer. I also was thinking of possibly using the Drunk Elephant Bronzer Drops. These are like viral. I happen to have one in my stash because they're, it's sold out everywhere. Um, but this does have a little bit more of a glow to it. So I'm leaning toward this just because in my head, I feel like I want a little bit of warmth, but I don't want it to feel or look makeup-y. And if I have too much shimmer on the skin, it might be a little too much. And the cheek product I'm gonna use, I feel like will be enough shimmer. So I'm gonna take this. This is actually the shade um, 01 Sunshine. And I guess I am using a brush for the bronzer because I feel like I do need a little bit of help with the precision of this, but you'll see how like gorgeously sheer that is. And this shade is just perfect for me. And as soon as I tried it, I was like, wait, I feel like this would be an amazing product for the days when you don't want to look like you're wearing makeup, but like you need a little bit of dimension especially after kind of evening out the skin tone with a skin tint or a tinted moisturizer. Like to me, it doesn't look like makeup. It just looks like I'm tan. That's how lightweight and sheer it is. I'm taking what's left through the crease of the eye and let's also take what's left and kind of go across the nose a bit. Okay, yes, this is looking so pretty. Okay, for blush or like a little something something, I wanted to use the Drunk Elephant Oh, Blue's Rosy Drops. And this is actually something that I keep in my skincare drawer, but I haven't used often until like recently. I feel like these have also kind of gone a little bit viral and so it made me want to revisit it, but I haven't had a routine where it would make sense. So that's kind of why I wanted to create this as well. I'm just taking a bit of that, by the way, on my fingertips and just popping it on the cheeks. So this does have a little bit of a luminosity to it. Um, so this is kind of going to be my only, ooh, I have an eyelash there, hold on. This in my mind is gonna be like the only shimmer that I have going on on the face. I am gonna tap it across the nose and it's okay if it gets a little bit under the eyes cause I just want it to look a little bit fresh. I'm taking some of that and putting it through the eyelids as well, like just on the crease of the eye anyway, for a bit of color there. My idea with this too is to hopefully make it so that it doesn't need powder, which would be amazing. And I feel like the moisturizer and then like the skin tint actually kind of dries down a little bit more matte. So I'm hoping that it's something that, you know, isn't too shiny to where it just looks fresh and I can skip any powder, which would be great. So if you're not me and you have more brows to work with, you could literally just brush them up and call it a day. I feel like it's the one thing that makes me feel undone to not have my brows on. So this may potentially be a little bit more time consuming for me versus some other people anyway. I'm using my Kamiko brow pencil because I just like how natural this looks. I feel like this is something that I would love to wear to the airport as well. Because you know how when you're on a plane, the air is so dry? Sometimes I don't want to look like I didn't try at all at the airport. Sometimes I do, it depends on where I'm going. But I feel like a routine like this would be really nice because it's just, again, an extension of my skincare routine. So it feels very hydrating it also like does something. Okay, I'm trying to decide if I want mascara or not. I never curl my lashes, but I might just take my finger and like try to curl them a little bit with my fingertip just to see if that would be enough for me. I used to use clear mascara all the time, like when I was a teenager and I'm wondering if I need to revisit clear mascara, you know? Maybe I'll just take a little tiny mascara. This is the MAC Play Giga Black Lash and it has a very small wand. I'm just thinking of maybe just focusing that on like the roots of the lashes because I'm thinking that that will kind of like give my lashes a bit of a lift without looking like I'm wearing any mascara, but I am. Ooh, yeah, this works, okay. But I feel like you would need a mascara that had a little brush to achieve this. I feel like sometimes mascara is a dead giveaway when it comes up to the ends of the lashes, if that makes sense. So by just kind of darkening the root by itself, that actually looks really pretty. And it gives just the right amount of definition without looking like I'm wearing mascara at all. <gasps> that could be my new favorite thing. Okay, I feel like the look is almost done. For me, I do love to put on a lip balm 
And I also, there's a lot of Summer Fridays in this tutorial because I just feel like that's kind of their vibe is like mostly skincare, but a little bit of tinted products. I really wanted to see how these would look. So I was watching a video. I've been watching Sagonia Lazarov quite a bit. I will have her channel down below. She's stunning and she just makes the most incredible videos. Anyway, she did a little Sephora haul and she bought these and mixed the colors. And I was like, wait, I wanna try that because I've loved them both on their own. These are the Summer Fridays lip balms. This is the shade Pink Sugar. So she started out with this, which honestly, if you wanted a super like barely there vibe, you could leave it at this. But I feel like for just a little bit of a cute little boost, I'm gonna mix in cherry and see how that looks together. I feel like I put on a little bit more cherry than she did. So I'm just gonna pat that off and then mix in a little more pink sugar. For me, clear brow gel is kind of a non-negotiable. So I'm just gonna throw on a little brow sensei from Kamiko. I feel like in the monitor, it looks like I need more blush, but looking in my mirror, I actually don't wanna go any more than this. I just wanna keep it as is, but I feel like this is the end of the routine. And honestly, I feel like it looks so nice. It literally just looks like skincare, but it's obviously elevated. How pretty. I'm really excited about this. I feel like these are also products that again, I could totally keep in my skincare bag and like they wouldn't be missed in my beauty room. Does that make sense? And it's just things that I can add on to my existing routine, skincare routine that is. I love this. It literally just looks like my skin, but better. It has a little bit more dimension, a little bit more glow so that I look a little more put together and healthy, but it's just so fresh. I'm excited to wear this for the rest of the day and I'm definitely, gonna do this again. I feel like it's a success. And honestly, I don't feel like I need powder. I'm looking at like my under eye area as well. And that skin tint under the eyes looks really great actually. So yeah, I'm thrilled. What do you guys think of this routine? Is this something that you would do or are you kind of like me on normal days where I just, it's either all or nothing for me, but I feel like this little hybrid is really cute, especially as a new mom. I feel like I'm gonna do this a lot. I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It also feels nice on the skin. I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed me discovering my new little skincare meets makeup hybrid routine. I'm here for it. Let me know in the comments if you guys are into this type of a look. I would love to hear from you. And if you are, what are your favorite products for this style of makeup? I would love to know in the comments. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it from me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.